One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. Yeah, I mean, even if you even if you make a mistake or God, like it's almost like how how on on what stock did do, do you lose money on as a short? Like you almost have to be unlucky to lose short, <laughs> almost in this market. I mean, there's just so few that are going up, and unless you're, it's you know, I mean, it, uh, you know, I say this stuff. You can always make bad. I mean, you short into lows. You, you know, you're gonna pay for it. You know, like you short into lows in the middle of the day. You know that kind of stuff. You'll kind of always lose if you do that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, BTX. I mean, your fault. You shouldn't be trading that kind of crap anyway. Um. You know, like yeah. So I, yeah, there, of course, there's there's always ways to lose. No matter what you do, there's always a way to lose. But it, the the normal roots of losing. Oh, did it did it go up? I, I kind of stopped paying attention. Kind of stopped paying. I, it doesn't look. Yeah. Oh yeah. This hot chick here. Oh, this is the one that I was looking. This is. I made a mistake. I already. I've already made a mistake on my on my PowerPoint that I meant to say this one yeah yeah this this hot chick right yeah i think that's what i called it like such low standards for a hot chick but uh yeah this was just shitty yeah this i mean this was i was like i i was like so waiting for this stuff to happen to you i was just like i i like i don't understand why like i'm not really sure it, it, it's you know i just I've had such a great time longing these last like five, six months, like ever since October. I mean, October to February was just fucking awesome. And like, there was really no reason to long. And so I've just kind of got in this zone where like nothing's stopping me from shorting. I just, I don't know. Like, I, I just, like, I'm just gonna, I just feel like I should just wait it out and just like put, like, put my, don't like, don't start to get into the shorting habit because like I make so much more when I long that it's just like, it just, maybe not really. Well, I, it's stubbornness, but just stubbornness to change, I guess. It's just, it's more of being stubborn. Like I just, I just, I mean, I just like longing so much better that I'd rather just wait this out. Like, I don't know. It's not the most efficient, obviously. But I don't know, maybe it is because like, I don't know, I don't like the taxing effect on your brain when you go back and forth. Like, I mean, like I'll take a short every now and then, like, you know, like I, I like being dominated by one side um, and then just like, or predominantly being one-sided. And then, you know, you see a good setup on, on a ticker, then you take it. But I don't, I don't know, it's just a lot harder I think it's just more taxing to just be like, oh, well, let me long today. Let me short today. Let me figure out if each ticker is a long or each ticker is a short. I'd rather just be long bias and say, nope, not this one. Nope, not this one. Nope, not that one. Or be short bias and, and just look for my, you know, just kind of have a lens where it's just so comfortable to look through. And it just simplifies it. It's can you make money? Could, could, if you wanted to make the most amount of money possible, again, like I was just about to finish that sentence with, could you just like, short this, short that, but I don't know, like the, the opportunity cost of me missing like a super runner because I happen to be short bias on that. I, I would never want that to happen. So I don't know, it, to each his own, I guess. Uh, I, I just kind of, I don't know. If, if we see this for another month, I might consider it, but you know, I ultimately do think that the market will even, even the score back out a little bit. Yeah, and uh, uh, this this market has pretty much been anti me, um, <laughs> anti my strategy basically. Like, like my my kind of I, I kind of I, I never would have dreamed that I would have turned into this, but I've kind of turned into a big move kind of trader. And I used to always be just a routine, no patience, base it. But like now I've turned into the kind of trader um, 
uh, where like I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a breakout trader. I'm a range breaking trader. Um, I I I go for the big moves, and and like I know we always preach don't go for the big moves, but like you know as a new trader, I would still recommend I would recommend that too. I would suggest that do not go for the big moves. Go for the routine base hits. Um, and and if you're going for that, I mean this market is for that 100. Like th this market is a base hit. Don't go for home runs. Don't, you know, expect the range to hold and it's going to hold. Um, I've just kind of developed into like, like my, my wins come from, you know, my big wins. And that's the way, I, you know, I've kind of developed in, you know, into liking to trade. And so this, this market has literally just been like, I mean, like plenty, like I, I didn't trade at all the first two weeks of April, like really at all. And and then the last two weeks, I kind of started again and just, just, it's not that I haven't, I've been in the green tons of times. I've been in the green almost a dollar and I didn't take the money because I just had my targets. Um, came back and stopped out, break even to red and just constant that. So I haven't had a great couple of weeks and I'm sure a lot of people, especially longs, probably haven't had the best week either. And so I'm just telling you, you're not alone. This market is really tough. And I mean, and if you're just kind of getting like the short, short, it was a lot easier a couple of weeks ago for shorts than it is now. There has been some fight back on the short side or on the long side in these last couple of weeks, notably, like that's why I've been, you know, I haven't just stopped out of nothing ever since. I've been in the green multiple times, which means, um, I mean, longs have been fighting back. I like, we've seen some attempts, but these attempts ultimately have failed. And yeah, we're creating a group for longs and rehab. Exactly. Um. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. <laughs> Pablo is like, fuck this market, man. Yeah, no, and Trenton, you're 100%. This is Bao's dream market. I mean, this is a market suited for Bao. It's funny, Bao and I are like completely opposite traders. Like, I mean, Bao is a short seller. I'm a longer, he's a range hold trader. I'm a range break trader. We're literally polar opposites. Like, literally, like, I almost feel bad. Like, when I have a solid win, it's normally one of Bao's losses. Um, like, like, it's funny. Like, I lose on the one Bao makes money on, but I lose small. And like on Bao's losses, I normally bank on. It's really funny. Um, yeah. And of course, Luke being the hero, the long, right? The evil Darth Vader, the shorts, right? That's how that works out. You know, I, I'm the good guy, obviously. Uh, but yeah, definitely a, a, a tough time for long. So, I mean, if you're, and even like, short sellers if you're just kind of getting your confidence and starting to try and it's not as easy as it was uh like a few weeks ago you're having a hard time too because uh, like it's if you're late you're, you're still gonna you know you, you're gonna be doing more poorly than your expectations are and that's gonna make you feel like lousy but again like i was saying dude like as a short seller it's kind of hard to have a bad week when you have stuff like this like, even if you chased it, even if you chased it, like, God, what's a bad average? What would be a bad average on that stuff? 995? You short 995? Oh, you short, you short, nine, you short 990. What happens? Like, yeah, it's not the best average. Like, you get like 20 cents in the green. That's not much. You have to wait. There's an annoying grind, but you're never in any pain. There's no pain here. And we're seeing this across the board. So CRTD. Yeah, I was long CRTD. Uh, yeah, this is, I was long the fucking look at it. It's so ugly. I was long CRTD. What was that? I had this one. I was ready for this one. I, I, I was really hoping for this one, but again, this one. And again, I'll talk about this. But yeah, this is a very anti me market. This is one where, like, I would normally just have a solid push up to five and be out. I had orders up here at five. Like, I had, an, I had a solid average here. I had a solid 
like 38 average, I think here on this, like I put out like half of my shares on here and I added, I kind of had, I remember I, had, I, I really wanted to add here and I put a little FOMO ad on here, but then I got my dip and I got, I got my ad on here. I'd like a 38 average after my ads full size. And I, you know, I mean, I had an order here in the seventies and eighties for half and, and it just didn't happen. I fucking stopped out here when it tanked. And that was it. So that was annoying. Yeah. But that, I mean, that basically sums up my trading. Just let me put on some hero and it goes up and then just stuffs on me. Yeah. So I have not had a couple of great weeks. <clears throat> yeah. GR, I actually longed that one today too. I actually longed it. I gave it a chance. Um, I gave it a chance. I, I was trying, I was really patient with my entry and I was like, I'm going to give it one shot here. And if it stuffs, I'm out. Um, You know, I, I sat through all this crap. I sat through all this crap and I thought it could go and it didn't. And I said, 910 is my risk. If it breaks under 910, I'm out. But, you know, you know, put a little feeler on, added more. This is one where I just add, I just keep going. Cause like, I figure like the one, the one that's going to be the surpriser is going to be the one that uh, really just like comes off something either so bearish or so dead. So I gave this one a chance and stuff. I got out and that was it. Um, yeah, this kind of stuff, GRTX at the open of the day like this, this is a good one to talk about. This one here, GRTX at the open of the day, we were all like Harry, uh, James and I were all saying on this one, like, fuck this one. Like this one, this one's definitely going to stuff 10. This one's so going to like, there was, I remember like this wall here at 980 and, and it's just like the theme this week, I didn't add this in my webinar, so it's good that I talked about this, but the theme this week has been there have been massive 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 just warren buffett selling share walls at, at these resistant levels like literally like just billionaire sized walls and they you know and they just they they, they they just push and push and push they don't break they don't break and eventually they lift they lift up just enough to absorb like a million two million shares of volume and then they stuff like a mother. And we've seen this, I can't even name all the other stocks. It happened, it happened like four or five times this week. Um, and this was just another example. Like we were all ready for it. There was no buying anything up here. And it's almost, it's almost like, why didn't I short it? And I, I'm just not in, I don't do that really anymore. Short the first candle, unless there's something I love. And 10, I mean, I guess it's a nice level. I'm just, like I said, I'm not in the mood to short uh, as of late. I should be, but I'm not. Um, and yeah, I mean, a beautiful short here, but yeah, I mean, th this is just, I mean, very expected, very, um, very absolutely. If you're along, you can't even dream, oh, it breaks 980 and 10, I'm going to buy it. You know, we talk about this a lot. Like when, when, when you're dealing with the first minute, I mean, even the first 10 minutes, like just take, take a breather, take a, take a ALDX. I was fucking stoked for I was, re that was, that was the one that gave me the most heartache. ALDX. ALDX was one. ALDX was a was this one I was I was hopeful for. But again, this was one and, and the reason why I was hopeful is because I loved this daily. Like this, this daily, like for a breakout, looks fucking solid. I mean, it I mean it just looked great. And so that's why I had my hopes up for this one. Just because I'm like, if anyone could do it, like maybe this one could, because it had such a nice daily. And it tried, it really tried, and it just couldn't do it. I remember on the, I remember on this one. Um, I forget what my average was here. Where was I here? I got this one. I think it was after this pull. Yeah, I think I got in long after this pull. Yeah. So yeah, I I I, uh, I th this pull happened. And I actually, I actually did. I went to short this one and I ended up stopping out here at, in the nineties. I slowly scaled and I only got a half size short, which is my biggest short I've had in, in months, but still, um, I shorted up here just cause it was a little, it was a little sketch. Everyone hated how this kind of reclaimed and as a short, I did too. So like I cut my long and then I put, I put orders out to buy here. I put some out in the sixties and the fifties and I got the sixties uh, and I got the sixties order. 
Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.